two hours trying to tape one of them. And I didn't like any of it. So um, it's just gonna be a really long night. And it's a lot of stuff to do. I don't know what's gonna happen. I like, need a nap and like a hug and like a like a lasagna. That seemed to make me feel better right now. To make me feel better. Anyways. Everyone's just saying hi. You guys are you guys are so nice. I love it. Um it might be my bad connection, Jay Kidrick, because I am losing my mind right now. <laughs> uh, guys, 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 guys. Everyone always says, go kill it. You got this. Kill it. Do you know how hard it is to kill things all the time? Like, to constantly kill? It's really hard. I'm really tired. I've been killing it nonstop. And <sighs> yo, I just don't know if I can keep killing it today. <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna shoot for a, um, just finish it <laughs> at this point. Cause it's already eight o'clock. And my whole day has been gone to one audition. One of three. So. I just. Acting is really hard, guys. Don't be an actor. It's pretty masochistic. Be like a pastry chef. Or like a puppy store owner. I don't know. Those all have sad things too. I don't know. Anyways, this is it. This is it. And the thinking positive. Always thinking positive. That's hard too. You know, sometimes you just want to vent. You just want to not be positive. Ugh. You know what? I think I'm just hungry. I ordered some food. 31 minutes. 31 minutes. Yes. Yes. I mean, I'm just hungry. Um, this chat's really funny because people will come and then they see nothing's really happening, so then they go. <laughs> and it's depressing. <laughs> Not really depressing. I really don't care. Um, anyways, what's up with you guys? Someone's gonna pray for me. Thank you. I need that. What is, uh. Someone's gay for me. Thanks, Uncle Claire. <laughs> what are you guys doing on Sunday night? What's everyone. What's everyone doing? I think it is. I took a break because I was. Some, oh, someone just wrote. Sometimes you need to reset and get back at it. Agreed. I needed to, like, sit, vent order some, they call it fedora here, not Postmates, order fedora here. And uh, go on Instagram live. That's what that's what I need to do. And talk to you guys. You're, someone's girlfriend wants to break up with them. What? Whack. Why? What, what you doing? What's up? You know what? I should do dating advice on here. Guys, what are your relationship questions? And, uh, is everyone doing homework? I'm, we're all doing homework. Homework sucks. God. It's, you know in Sweden, they stopped doing homework. I think it was Sweden. I don't know. Or Switzerland. They stopped giving homework and the kids got smarter. Because they, like, they stopped making them do homework and they stopped doing, like, crazy hours and they gave them more playtime and they were smarter. So, that's the key. No homework. Papers due tomorrow. My auditions are due tomorrow. 
too. Auditions, like taped auditions, are like um, projects for actors. And they're crazy because you have like a day or so to create a whole another person, character, whatever, based on like, you sometimes go to the script, usually not, based on like a two sentence thing being like, She's smart and independent and from a cool family, but she needs to get out of her shell. And then you have a scene that like will range from three to like ten pages, depending on how many scenes they want to give you. And then you gotta get a camera and like light and like sound and um put it on tape and then you send it to people to watch you. And sometimes you get a job from it. So so it's really important. It's like a big project, you know, you're kind of like performing, but it's, my light went off, but it's hard. Look how sad I look, I'm just so, so defeated. <laughs> Go play some board games. I need some board games. Oh, what's the most exciting thing that happened to you this year? Well, this year, just kidding, this year, so I'm not this year. Oh, man, I don't know. This year has been crazy. It's, I'm just tired from this year still. It's not over. Um, the craziest thing? Oh, man. Uh, I was a gypsy. I was a gypsy for basically six months. I just traveled and traveled and traveled all around for work and traveling. And I was trying to find a new place to live. And I counted um, from... January 1st to when I got my apartment here in Canada 54 different apartments hotels Airbnbs friends places I stayed in so it was like a different place each week it was crazy town that was crazy um if I could work with any actors or actresses who would it be Ooh. oh so many Meryl duh Daniel Day-Lewis except he comes back from retirement just to work with me. Heath Ledger, just because he was my ultimate love. Ultimate love. Um, I'd really like to work with like Amy Schumer and like Emma Stone, like just some funny, funny girls. Kristen Wiig, I want some funny people. Like just the entire cast of SNL. That would be great. Actors, I'm a big fan of Michael Fassbender. He's so dope. Um, also looks like, could be kind of crazy, which I like. Um, you know, anyone, right? I mean, anytime you work with a new actor or actress, it's like getting a new, not getting a new toy, but like getting to play with a new toy. Someone always, different people bring different things out of you. And, um, it's exciting. It's exciting to get to see how different people work and how different people are on set because everyone's so, so different really cool favorite superhero man you know I always loved um what was her name <laughs> big love <gasps> what was her name it was one of the x-men's <laughs> one of the x-men's one of the x-men the one with the gray streak in her hair rogue was it rogue there's wasn't any girl superheroes storm was cool too mm. There's really just not a lot of girl superheroes. Catwoman was kind of lame, like, and she's a villain. Wonder Woman's cool, but also, I mean, the movie's cool, but, like, the superhero in general, I don't know. She's kind of, um, Jean Grey. Is that it? I don't know if it was Jean Grey. It was Rogue. It was Rogue. All right, it was Rogue. Um, I'm not open to adoption right now. Sorry, I cannot adopt you. Someone who's asking for adoption. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting a dog, though. I just... I have to train it. Do I like The Walking Dead? You know what? I love The Walking Dead. I actually, um, nerd alert, read the graphic novel, like the comic book graphic novel, before The Walking Dead, the show, started. And then, when they did the show, I think the show's good, but, I mean, if you haven't read the novel or the comic books, fucking missing out. Like, they are phenomenal the art is I, I like the first artist better actually they, they changed like second comic again it was weird um but the art's amazing the storylines are crazier than the ones in the show and i think when they stopped 
sticking to the, the storyline from the book when they changed onto the show, that's when I kind of got like, mm, I'm bored. I don't like it anymore. So I still like it. Game of Thrones. I do like Game of Thrones. I am behind. Um, haven't read those books. They seem kind of crazy daunting. But the characters and everything in the world in Game of Thrones are just insane. They're so, it's so complex. I love it. Uh, but I always laugh because doesn't sometimes it feels like you're watching a whole episode and like things are happening, but it's like really long and like, you know, very intricate and everything. And then like, it's a little slow. And then the last five minutes, it's like the shit hits the, like hits the fan and the storm. And there's like an apocalypse and you're just like, well, I got to tune in next week. I have to now, you know, like this last five minutes. I like just watch the last five minutes. So I do. Uh, let's see. What is my favorite food? Ice cream. I actually, <laughs> what is something weird? Um, my mom told me when I was a kid, I used to eat butter sticks, like, like ice cream. Like I'd lick it like ice cream and yeah, that's weird. But I'm also thinking like, mom, why did you, why would you give me a stick of butter and be cool with me eating it like ice cream? Like what the like what what are you doing mom stranger things i just finished watching it i know i'm super late super behind um it was great oh my god those kids are so good those kids are so i loved how fun it was i haven't watched second season yet but i'm excited about it. 11 is the dopest and i just think those kids were so awesome like they're great that was cool Oh, I did watch Prison Break. I used to love Prison Break. Um, me and my mom used to watch it when I was in high school. I think I had, I got like season one and two. I think it was only two seasons, right? Or I stopped after season two. It wasn't a very long show. Wentworth Miller was my high key love. Um, but you know, the show, that thing about, about that show is that it was like, it's called Prison Break, right? So it's like, once you get out of prison, you know, isn't it over? <laughs> not that I wanted over I thought it was cool when they were trying to like live um in civilian life and everything but it was just so much cooler when they were in the prison and he had like all the tattoos on his body and the map and like the secret love affair with the nurse and everything or doctor and that's pretty cool that was a cool show I haven't seen the crown I haven't seen it I haven't seen it you know what I used to love Downton Abbey and I guess I felt the crown would be kind of like it so I just I was like, well, we can't beat Downton. But maybe you can. I'll check it out. Let's see. Season 5 Insight, please. Ooh. Season 5 is is good. It's really good. There's that six-year time jump. Um, that we, I'm not sure if everyone knows about it. But so from the finale of season 4. <laughs> math. 4. <laughs> Um, we go six years. So Raven, I'm like a year older than like Clark and them. So I'm like 20 or I think I'm 19. I was 19 when I landed. May have been, I think I may have been 20 by season four. And then, um, so six years go by. So I'm 26. And so you just see everyone go through this intense, like just the person they are. Cause I think, you know, you really shape during your twenties and early twenties. So, um, it's really cool. You're going to see how all the characters are affected by that. And, like, we've also gotten so much time to think about, like, what has happened since we've gotten on the ground and the type of person we had to be during those situations and how it's shaped us. Because I think every experience, you know, shapes you. So that's going to be cool. We're all playing slightly different versions of our character. Some more than others. Some went through more drastic changes than others. Um, so it's gonna be really cool. I think you guys are gonna like it. Have I watched 13 Reasons? I have watched 13 Reasons. Me and Tasia binged it when we lived together at Nadia's house. <laughs> um, it was so, it was, it was good. It was so well done. And that, those, again, those kids were great. Um, you know, lots of, I don't know, how they're, how are they doing a season two? What are they? What are they going to do? Like, how? I'd like to read the book. I'd be interested in reading the book. I feel like that would be something I would have loved when I was, like, in high school, when I was younger. Let's see. 
Riverdale. I've only seen like um like three episodes of Riverdale and I think it's cool. Like I love the dark like the dark take on the whole Archie world. I read Archie comics as a kid. I loved Betty the Betty and Veronica comics. Um I think the girls that play you know, Cheryl is hilarious. The whole cast is really great. Um and I met them and they're all fantastic and super sweet and everything. They actually film across the street from us. So from our studio, you can see like the the Pops chocolate shop, like the outside, um, the outside little marquee. Yeah, it's cute, it's cute. Let's see, do I have ever been to Brazil? No, I was supposed to go this year and I got a job, so yay. But, um, but I had to cancel Brazil, so I'm hoping this next year coming up, I get to go to Brazil because I really, really, that's like one of my top places I want to go to. And which Hogwarts house would I be in? Ravenclaw, duh. Um, that's definitely a Raven. Raven would definitely be in Ravenclaw. I don't know if I'm smart enough. I'd probably, I mean, I know everyone probably says this, but I'd, I'd probably be in Gryffindor. Just because I'm not mean enough to be in Slytherin, I'm not nice enough to be in Hufflepuff, and I'm not smart enough to be in Ravenclaw. So I'd be in Gryffindor. Yeah. Let's see. Where is my favorite place to visit? There's so many amazing places in the world. Um, that's so hard. No, I went to, uh, someone asked if it was Frida Kahlo in the background, and yes it is. It's like a little, it's a little poster um, my boyfriend got for me in New York because I'm a, such a big, I love Frida Kahlo. And I went to Mexico City last year and for like a spontaneous like five day trip with my best friend Emily and some of you may know her and honestly went to Frida's house, the blue house, breathtaking. I mean, it was, it was just so cool. And Mexico City was one of the coolest cities ever. Like it does not get enough credit for being how that. I love that. I love Tokyo. It's like Mars. You got to go to Tokyo. It's crazy. Um, I'm going to Thailand for Christmas and I went once before and it was awesome, but I'm going to like, do some like Muay Thai and training there. So I'm super excited about that. That's going to be great. If I wasn't Raven, who would I play in the hundred? Props Octavia, maybe? Maybe just want to, cause she's so cool. Uh, I don't know who I'd be. Echo's cool too. I like the warrior women. Clark's cool. You know, Octavia and Echo get to fight more. And like Lexa, like she was the coolest character. Um, I just would want to be a, a like a warrior, badass chick. Like, done. I would love that. So any of that, yeah. Let's see. What else? I'm a warrior. You're a warrior too, Julia. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I love you guys. I've never been to Saudi before. No. Um, I'd love to go. I'd love to see that whole area. It'd be amazing. Do I get with someone in season five? You have to watch. Let's see. Oh, hi, Sarah. Oh my God, guys. One of my best friends from high school is in this is in this chat. This spontaneous <laughs> chat. So funny. It, these are so funny because people who don't know me are watching this. And people who do know me are watching this. So it's really weird. Um, this is just procra this is a procrastination chat. I'm waiting for my food. I still got 20 minutes. I don't want to study anymore. I don't want to do any more homework. Um, let me see. Oh my god, everyone's in this chat. Angelica, get out of this chat. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I need like a, I need like a, like a PSA, like a PSA, I don't know. I need like a sign that says like, hey, I, this isn't a real thing. <laughs> this is a stupid, spontaneous thing. Oh my gosh. Hilarious. <laughs> Someone's, oh, I love you, Sarah. She said she loves me. And Angelica says she loves me too. <laughs> Guys. Oh, isn't Oh, no, no. A different Sarah, a different Angelica. Sorry, I'm having a personal chat within this chat. Um, you guys are funny. 
Anyways, there's any more questions. Uh, hello, Chile. What's up? Hola, Argentina. Hola. I don't know what that one said. That one's cool. Colombia. Wow, everyone's here. This is amazing. Um... Someone just got a new car and named it Raven. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the Ravenator, the Ravenmobile. That's amazing. Someone just wrote Bake It. I don't know what that means. Tell us more about yourself, please, Sarah. Sarah doesn't know me at all. I wish Sarah Cruz was here right now to tell you guys about me because she has some funny stories about me <laughs> to tell you. <laughs> Oh, a new season. When's it coming out? I don't know. <laughs> they don't tell us anything. My mom, my mom has literally asked me like once a week. They just don't tell us. It's kind of a surprise, I guess. I think maybe around January or February. I don't know. When did it come out last year? It's amazing. You guys, I don't know. All right. We're getting... We're getting lots of... How hard was casting? Um, I don't know, because I didn't cast myself. <laughs> um, there wasn't that many rounds. It was kind of like an audition, one audition that went to like the producers and director, and then from there, and then that, I had a chemistry read with um, Thomas, the guy that played Finn. So that was just three, which is honestly like not like not a lot at all there's so many where you just go through like so many and then there's literally some where it's like two so just depends you know who knows who knows um can you guys see other people's comments in the live video or am i the only one that can see them i don't know i just want to answer this Nope, no one's answering. Yes, someone wrote, yes, they all wrote, yes. Oh, okay, because I was like, that's, that's got to be confusing for all of us, right? Um, thank you for clearing that up, guys. You guys, I just see, I don't know anything about this internet, internets. You, okay, my food was literally 18 minutes, and now it's 24 minutes. I'm very upset. Very upset. Sarah's texting me. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> Sorry, I check my check my texts. My texts from my friends. My friends. They're just not here helping me with my homework. Yay. Someone just asked, said you must like bacon. I do. I really like bacon. What are you making? I'm not ma I'm just I'm ordered food cuz I was frustrated. Um Someone just asked me, do I like Caribbean countries? <laughs> yes. Someone asked me, were you on, you were on a soap opera, what's harder to film, that or Think TV? Yikes, y'all. Um, so they're so different. They're so different. Uh, soap operas are like, you, feel, you can film up to like 60 to 80 pages a day. Film, and like TV. TV, it's like a big, big day, eight pages. TV, I mean, I mean, that's it. TV's eight pages. For film, maybe three pages is a big day. Three or four pages. It is, it's crazy. So, like, soap operas move so fast. You basically get one take for everything, and that's it. You have five cameras on you at once, and you go through the blocking that the morning of before you go into hair and makeup, and you get it once, and then the camera guys get the blocking, and the director gets the blocking, and it's kind of just, like, you have to nail it because you don't get another shot so honestly like soap op soap work is so hard and you get you have to memorize like 30 pages a night of like lines versus you know for tv it will depend you know if you have like a lot like a lot to say but um it's usually not nearly as much as soap operas soap operas are like basically doing a, a, a new play every day so they they're really tough for film and tv i think the hard part is we do so many takes, so that's that's difficult because you have to do something over and over again, and it's no longer as fresh. Like, even if you just say one word, like watermelon, over and over again, it starts to feel like that word. So 
that part can be that part can be um, exhausting and tiring. And uh, you know the camera's not always on you too. Like for for film or TV versus soap opera, usually the cameras are always on you. So even when you're done, like your coverage, that's what they call it, your acting, you have to be there for your partner. And so you want to still do a good performance for them. So it's still like, you know, you have to um, be on your A game for it. So different. I don't know what's harder. You know, I think film is probably the easiest. Just because you have more time. You have more time for like rehearsals. You have more time for like creating the character. You know where you're going in the script, like where it has to end. And um, like lighting and setting up shot takes shots takes <clears throat> setting up shots takes more time versus TV. It's pretty quick. Like every hour is like so much money, like a hundred thousand dollars an hour. So you can't ever be late or like take too long or be behind schedule. So it's tough. Oh, guys, someone just asked me my thoughts are on capitalism. Guys, uh, what? <laughs> I'm so hungry. I can't answer that. Oh, uh, my favorite Tarantino movie, uh, Kill Bill, Volume One. Volume One. Volume Two is okay. My volume Two is good, but Volume One's way better. Way better. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna have a snack before my food gets here because I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna pregame my dinner. I'm going to go to because I'm tired. Nice talking, everybody. Thanks for making me feel better. I feel less um, insane now and uh, vented. So I appreciate that. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Okay, and bye. End it. Oh, shit. No, I didn't do it. End. <laughs>